my name is Malia. I'm with StatSafe Support and Training, and today we will be going over how to turn on the new order approval with text notifications feature. Our new feature still allows the security codes, uh, granting that a pharmacist reviews the orders before a nurse is available to dispense them to the patient, but it takes out all of the phone calls between the pharmacy and the facility, allowing that communication to go back and forth through either text notifications or emails. This saves a lot of time with on-call and phone time. We'll start by showing you how to set up those features in the portal. In the portal, you'll wanna make sure that your stat saves are on the latest version of software. Every version 2.6 or higher will have these new features with them. We'll also show you how to go in and set up those features. The stat saves must be updated at the actual stat safe at the facility. When you go to your stat safe, you're going to click on the stat safe you want to have these features and select edit settings. When you select edit settings, we're going to go to the S2 settings tab and you'll choose allow special code request from machine. This button controls the new text features. You'll also want to make sure that for each drawer that you would like to have the security codes feature on, that you have require security code checked off on that location. In this situation, I have them on my stat cube drawer, allowing that anytime anything is pulled from a stat cube, requires that the pharmacist gives approval for that dispense. You'll also need to set up some information under the order codes and manage order codes. When you scroll down to the bottom, you can add all of your users and you can go in and you can add these users. You can edit them. You can have as many users as you would like um, and you can add text and phone numbers uh, or an email. So anything that can receive a text and anything that can receive an email and they will receive notifications each time a facility requests a medication from the machine. We'll now demonstrate what that's going to look like for the nurse and then how that comes across to the pharmacy. This is the stat safe at the facility. When the nurses are ready to dispense a medication, they will log into the machine and they'll choose remove an item as they always do to remove an item for a patient. They'll choose their patient and they will choose a medication. So they'll choose the medication. In this case, this medication does require pharmacist authorization to be able to dispense it. Whenever they select finish for their patient medication, this will appear. You could still use the manual code feature. You could still give them a code ahead of time or with the new text features, the nurse will select request code here. And here the nurse will enter their cell phone. So the nurse will enter their cell phone number or they could also enter an email here. So the nurse enters their cell phone that they would like to receive these notifications back on. They select OK. And now it's loading. The nurse gets the message that says your request has been received. This order will be canceled and you can continue later if approved. So now the nurse has requested the medication for the patient. It prompts the nurse to cancel the order. And now the nurse does not have to stay near the stat safe. They can go ahead and log out and they can wait for that text communication to come through to them. So whenever they log out, a message has now been sent to the pharmacy requesting that medication. The pharmacist then receives a text and email similar to this message shown. It does not tell them the patient name or contain any HIPAA related information. It just tells them that the supervisor who's the user at the Phoenix LTC stat safe is requesting authorization for a medication. The pharmacist can now go and approve that medication for the facility. Once the pharmacist receives the request for an authorization, they can then log back into the portal either using the web-based system or their mobile phone, as this is also very mobile friendly. They will select order codes and manage order codes. And now we show that we have a requested codes. So they have the requested codes, they can review the medication, they can review the patient that's being requested for and the user who's requesting it. 
They can see the time and date. And then they have the choice of approving or declining this request for medication. If everything is good, the pharmacist will click approve. So they're reviewing the medication. They have the choice of giving them 15, 30, or 60 minutes for the nurse to go back and retrieve that medication. So it has the NDC, it shows the medication, it shows the patient. In this case, no other medication can be pulled. You cannot pull uh, medication for a different patient and it will be exact to the NDC. So we'll hit save. And now that has been approved. They can resend the notification later if the nurse does not get it. And they can also cancel the approval. So now let's see what the nurse is going to see on their side. The nurse now receives a text message on the device that they requested it on. And it will tell them that their request for the medication name has been approved. Again, there's no patient information and no HIPAA related information has been provided. And the nurse receives this message and they can now log back into the StatSafe to retrieve the medication once they've received notice that it's been approved. Once the nurse receives the text message that their order has been approved by the pharmacy, they will go and log back into the StatSafe and you'll see this view approved codes message down the bottom. They will click on this green dot. This is view approved codes. And now the approved request will appear. They can have multiple approved requests, uh, but each one will appear here. And the pharmacist has approved this order for this patient and for this medication. So now all the nurse has to do is hit finish. It prompts the nurse to open the drawer. This one's in a cube. So the stack cube opens to allow them the medication. They put the count in before they make their pull. Nurse can now take their medication out. You notice they did not have to enter a code like in their previous uh, method. All codes have been pre-approved. The nurse approves the, the nurse logs back in. They remove the approved medication and hit confirm. And that's how it works. So that's all it takes. Uh, in between, there were no phone calls, no tied up time between the nurse and the facility. Very quick process because everything's sent electronically. This is our new system for approving orders using the text features. Whenever the nurse logs out, all of that information is now sent immediately back to the pharmacy that the poll was removed. Back at the StatSafe portal, the pharmacist can review all of the order codes used, and they can see that this code for John Doe has, was approved and it was used and what time and date it was used at the facility. All of this information is now there for full pharmacy tracking. We also have reports now that show exactly which pharmacist gave the code um, and for every poll. So if you're interested in receiving more of this information, please reach out to us at Phoenix LTC, 855-633-2278 and two for service and ask us about more of our features. We'll be glad to share them with you. Thank you. Thank you.